I came from a family that, uh, with a lot of love, but, um, but my mum was determined that we stood on our own two feet. Um, so from a very young age, maybe five or six, she would you know, push me out of the car and tell me to make my own way to grandmother's house, which was you know, maybe three miles away. And, uh, and that's the kind of, you know, nowadays people would say foolish things she did, but it, it did help, uh, help us stand on our own two feet. Um, and you know she was incredibly supportive, lots of love. But every opportunity she had, um, she would, um, uh, yeah, push us to the limits. I think she was a very adventurous person herself. I mean, she, my mother was um, was one of the first air hostesses on on a jet airliner um, just after the Second World War, where they had to put oxygen masks on, um, you know, when they went above ten thousand feet and so on. So. Um, you know, she, she was a glider pilot, um, uh, you know, she parachuted, she, so she did, she did quite a lot of adventurous things herself. And I think she sort of expected it of her son, so um, I had a lot to live up to. How has your mother taken the way that you've been adventurous <laughs> in these death-defying ways? Uh, I, I think very well. I mean, she, she, uh, she loves adventure herself, so she sort of lived, lived um, you know, in the last few years of her life, um, she's lived her life through myself, and and anything I do, she comes along. Um, she's now ninety three. She's still, you know, we just did a, you know, I mean, a um, fifteen hundred mile bike ride from north of Italy to south of Italy, and and um, you know, she she dro drove um, with the grandkids following us, and um, so uh, it's great that she, she, my mother's able to participate in these things.